Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The USS Natchez departed Hampton Roads, Virginia on this day, July 26, 1827, bound for the Caribbean. A sloop of war in the United States Navy, the Natchez had been built at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth, Virginia. The ship was 127 feet long and 33 feet 6 inches wide and boasted 18 guns. She could accommodate a crew of 190 officers and enlisted men. Initially commanded by George Budd, she was patrolling with the West Indies Squadron as a detergent against a resurgence of piracy. Unfortunately, she was forced to sail north by an outbreak of yellow fever among the crew, returning to New York City on November 24, 1828. The sloop, commanded by William B. Subject, returned to the Caribbean in 1829 and operated there until she was decommissioned at Norfolk, Virginia on August 24, 1831. The ship was reactivated during the South Carolina nullification crisis and sailed for Charleston on January 2, 1833. She moved up to Charleston Battery in March and remained in that South Port until tensions eased. The Natchez returned to the West Indies in 1836 and operated there until 1839. She was scraped at the New York Navy Yard in 1840. Hi, my name is Trey Gill, and I just completed my 8th grade year at Trinity Episcopal Day School, and this is your Natchez History Minute.